Hello everyone, so today I am filming in London and I thought what better way to start the day than if you're in Bar if you're in London you might as well go to Borough Market. So if you don't know what Borough Market is, it's awesome this time of year, Christmas time, um, lovely fresh ingredients, mulled wine, just loads of loads of really good produce. So let's head off there. Hey everyone and welcome back to Hayes Kitchen. Now I've been to the market and got everything that I need. Um, it's quite ironic that I'm in the centre of London and I get some of the best produce that I can get in the country. However, I live in Norwich where we've got all this beautiful land around us and I can't get half of these tomatoes. It's beyond me. Anyway, so we've got some beautiful fresh tomatoes. We're going to do that almost like a calzone. So we're going to wrap that up in a little bit of pizza dough, but we're going to use spelt flour, a little bit of black pepper going through there. And we're going to sweat that through with a little bit of garlic, red onion, and we're going to use something slightly different. We're using fig vinegar. Now with fig vinegar, I'm going to sweat that back down to give it a lovely little balsamic glaze. It means it's going to go all sticky and caramelised inside. So when you crack open the pizza, you've got all that lovely tomato juice going through and you've got the little bit of the, the sticky glaze as well. So let's get cooking. Now the first thing you want to be doing with these type of tomatoes, they're going to have a lot of fluid in there, a lot of juice. So all I'm going to do is just literally slice these down. Nice little thin sections. I'm going to lay them out on the tray. It's amazing the smell that comes off of these compared with your, your supermarket type tomatoes, which is beyond me why they don't taste of anything. Right, one of these. Look at the colour of that. Can add some salt. Now that salt is going to draw some of that moisture out of the tomato, so don't mind having a little bit on there. And then we can get on with our dough. Right, for our dough, we're going to use spelt flour. I'm going to put in there about 300 grams. Into that, I'm going to add a little bit of fast activating yeast, a little bit of butter, just a small amount. Now, a good amount of pepper in this one, please. We'll probably put in there a good teaspoon of black pepper. I'm going to add to that a little bit of warm water. Mix that round before getting messy with your hands. You see it's starting to come together. And as you can see, it's becoming quite pliable, almost like doughy. It's coming together nicely. Fold that over a few times. Leave that in the bowl, cover with a cloth. And because you're using warm water, that will start to raise anyway. Right, next up. Tomatoes are doing fine. Right, we're going to grab one of our onions. I'm just going to lightly slice that, nice and thinly. And add that to our pan. Got a little bit of wet garlic here. Going to add a small amount of butter. A little bit of garlic, we're just going to chop it in half and chuck that in. You see the starts caramelised beautifully. So now we can go in with a little bit of our fig vinegar. Right, that can come off the heat. Take a small piece of parchment paper or baking paper. We're going to take our bread mix. You don't even need a rolling pin for this. This is what we're effectively we're going to do. So that's your shape you're looking for. 
We take some of our beautiful onions, lay that down in the middle. We've got some beautiful chives. I'm literally just going to snap them and just sprinkle them over the top. Then we can take some of our tomatoes. We take a little bit of our buffalo mozzarella. Now, we're going to roll that and roll it again. And roll it back over, like that. And that can go into a preheated oven at about 220 Celsius. So it's been in there about 25 minutes. Let's serve this one up, shall we? And to serve that up, you're just going to keep that really simple with just a beautiful, fresh amount of rocket, and that just keeps it really simple and easy. You don't need anything else in there. Remember, everything else is going to be contained. All your sauces are going to be in there. The tomatoes, the onion, that sticky glaze. Well, hopefully you like that one. That's my simple, encrusted tomatoes. Almost like a calzone, as I say. Um, we've got our beautiful red onions going through there with the garlic, our mixed tomatoes, a little bit of some mozzarella, packed full of flavours. Get recreating this one. I'll see you next week. Cheers then. Bye-bye.